hello everyone welcome back to my channel how you were doing hope great today we're going to be making famous in the top then the next video will be on how to cut the pants this request have been long they've been asking me to you guys have been asking me to make a video on how to cut a female pant. Today we'll be making a senator top, female senator top. Then the next video will be on how to cut the the pants, that's the trouser. So let's get to it. I'm using a purple fabric and one and a half meters of fabric for the top. And my fabric is already folded into four. First, you use the, before cutting it out, I use the biggest part of the, the body, biggest part of my body to cut this out, that's the hip. So the hip is 46 inches, I added some allowance to it and use it to cut this out. So I marked some lines, as you can see I marked some lines out. This, this is from shoulder to bust, that is 10 inches. And shoulder to waist is 10 inches. Then from waist, from waist to hip is 9 inches. Then the length of my fabric is 32 inches. So I'll be adding 1 inch for seam allowance, that is 33 inches. So we're we'll placing the measurement now. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches. Divide by two, that is eight inches. Then I'll add one inch for seam allowance. That is eight and a half inches. So I'll place my eight and a half inches here. And for the armhole, I'm taking eight inches. Just draw the line from the shoulder to the angle. Put the line here. Here I'll be taking one inch shoulder slant. This is one inch shoulder slant. Now we'll do the shoulder later. I'm not putting the neckline now. We'll put the neckline later. I just want to take the measurement first before I put the neckline. The bust measurement is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches. So the waist measurement is 30, 36 inches. Divide by 4, which is 9 inches. Divide by 4, 9 inches. And the hip measurement is 46 inches. 46 divided by 4 is 11.5. This is 11.5 here. And one and a half, I'll be adding one and a half inch for similar ones because I want a little bit easiness. One and a half inch here. So this is my similar ones. Same thing on the hip side. So for the, the armhole, I'm taking half of the armhole, which is four inches. Make one and a half inch here. So what I'm going to do is to connect the lines together. So this is the connect the seam allowance I added to it. So I'll be cutting it out first before I'll cut out the neckline. The front neckline is going to be deeper than the back one, so I have to cut it separately. And I'll bring the back side out. And for the front neck, I'm taking three, 3 inches for the width. That is the wideness of the neck, 3 inches. 
and I'm taking two and a half inches for the depth. So I connect the two lines together, connect the lines together. And cut it out. So for the back side, the wideness is the same, same 3 inches. This is the back side and the, the wideness is still 3 inches. And the, I'm taking 1 inch or 1 and a half inch for the depth. Two inches for the width, for the wideness, and one and a half inch for the depth for the back side. So I cut it out. And I then cut the slant. I cut out the one inch slant I made earlier. Forgot to cut it out. So here is the one inch slant. I'll do the same thing on this side. So I'll be cutting out the sleeve in time. And for the center, for the front one, I'll be cutting out the midpoint a little bit. So from here, I'll look for the midpoint. So I'll measure 9 inches here. I'll cut 9 inches because this is where the black kit will be. I'll set them aside. I'm cutting out 22 inches length. The sleeve is 22 inches plus 1 inch for folding or seam allowance. Place five inch here, five inches here for the wrist, and in here, measure four inches. You can check my channel on how to make a sleeve in case you didn't understand what I'm doing. So I connect here to this place. I use this to cut the other side. So I cut this out. This is for the placket. I cut about wideness six inches and the length is uh, eleven inches. So eleven ten and a half inches. Next is for us to put the whole fabric together. Well, I will take it to my machine and sew the shoulder. I will sew the shoulder before we attach the sleeve. Make sure the right side are facing each other. So I finished sewing the shoulder. What I'm going to do next is to go ahead and uh, pin the sleeve to, to, to the, the top. And when I've hemmed the bottom of the sleeve, one inch, like I said earlier. So I will now take the sleeve, open this one like so, take the sleeve, and first, I'll look for the midpoint. 
the midpoint of the sleeve and the midpoint of the top. And I pin them together from here, start from the and the right side of the sleeve and the right side of the top are facing each other. So I start pinning it from here. To this side also. Pin them. So look nice. So I'll do the same thing on the other side, on the other sleeve. Pinning them, we'll turn it. You put them together again. So I'll go ahead and sew this place, this leaf. I'll go ahead and sew the place that I pin. So this is the placket I cut out. So this is six inches. The the, the wideness and the length is uh, ten inches, and here is ten inch. Um, I place um, 9 inches there, so I'm making a 9 inches here. Yeah? So you got to, I will take the mid, go to the midpoint, because it's 6 inches, I will take 3 inches on this side, 3 inches on this side, go to the midpoint, you draw a line. That is the nine inches. So I draw nine inches, so it's not called it's a bit bent. So I will take half an inch on this side. I'll take half an inch on this side and take half an inch on this side. I'll turn the wrong side. And place it like so. So literally, I supposed to attach an um, interface into this um, placket. But the way it is now, it's very hard. It's a, hard, it's a very uh, hard uh, fabric. I don't think I'll be adding interface into it. I'll just do it the way it is. So meanwhile, I'm attaching it to the wrong side of the top. So I will go ahead and take it to my machine and sew this place where I marked here. And I'll sew it to this place. So I'll finish attaching the, the placket to the, to the top. So I will go ahead and cut it out. I will cut this place, half of this place. So I'll cut here, I'll cut this one out, I'll cut it here half here, here I'll cut it like so, and cut the side also.
So after cutting it, I will turn it to the right side. So after cutting it, you will flip it to the to the other side. So let's turn it now. Turn it like so. So what I will do now is to take it like so. You take half an inch here, you fold it, and you sew it on top of this one. I'll still do the same thing on this side again. Fold it so, take it like so. So we go ahead and then stitch it here and stitch the other side. And before we find solution to this mess, I finish attaching the placket to the to the top. So after I finish sewing here, after I finish sewing the both side, so I went ahead and cut the SS fabric inside here, then stitch it around here. So we're through with that. I think I will do a video on how to make a placket, but this is just a quick one. Okay, what I'm going to do next is to sew the both side. So I'll turn the, the wrong, turn it to the wrong side. I will go ahead and sew it from the sleeve here. Here, then go this way, then come down here. Now I'll be leaving eight inches unsewed. I'll mark out eight inches. Because this is going to be, I will leave it open, I'm not going to be sewing it. I will do the same thing on the other side. Before I attach the hem, the neckline. Yeah, the neckline is 18 inches. And I cut out some fabric to hem the neckline as a facing. And so I'm going to use it as a facing, just like a bias, to hem the neckline. I will attach it and sew it all around around then I sew it again so here is the finished look of the top I finished sewing the both side and I left uh, about 8 inches on so here I went ahead and they hemmed the bottom of the top and I'll be hemming the neck again later on so that's it thank you so much guys for watching see you on my next video please subscribe like and share my video if you want to see more of this, thank you. Love you. Bye.